this topic has been on my mind recently for a fair bit. Uh, I know it's a topic that a lot of people will end up obsessing about at one point or another in their life. And I guess like if you're not careful, you might even get consumed by it, like overthinking way too much about it and causing you unnecessary anguish. And I've personally actively tried my best to like not think about it because I know the amount of like anxiety it induces within me if I just think too much about it. But again, like with recent developments in the world and personal shenanigans that have been happening, I can't really help but worry about basically everything. Will I ever be able to move out of my parents' house? Will I be able to continue doing what I love? Will I ever be able to earn enough in order to afford a basic life? You know, all the, those sorts of questions. And I know people are like, don't think about the future. It's uh, everything comes as a go or whatever. But it's so difficult to like ignore it, especially like in this day and age. And yeah, I guess that's kind of what I just wanted to talk about today. Hello everyone, my name's Yanari, and yeah, like I said, uh, I just wanted to discuss the topic of the future being kind of fucking scary. Uh, before I start, I quickly want to mention that I currently have my art commissions open for anybody that's interested. Uh, the link to that is in the description, and I'm also very close to opening up my sticker shop, my new, my new sticker shop, I'm very uh, excited about it. I haven't really made any like formal announcements about it yet, but please keep an eye on my social media and I guess also YouTube because I probably will make a video about it at some point too. Uh, so yeah, that. Um, where shall we start? Um, I guess let's just rewind to the past and think back to your days as a fucking wholesome child in uh, primary school or something. Like, it's so funny to be honest, because I remember like as a kid, really looking forward to the future like oh I wonder what I will look like in five years oh I wonder what I'll be doing in high school or like who my friends are gonna be am I gonna be popular am I gonna be tall am I you know all those sorts of things and whatever I'm like uh, I hate to break it to you small little me but you probably will not uh, be any taller than five foot four <laughs> sorry and guess what else small little me you'll realize that you're a major fucking geek but yeah, no, I just remember being at the playground, like, seeing the other older kids, like, kids that were, like, five years older than me, and I was just like, oh, wow, so cool. Like, they didn't really seem like f full-on adults or whatever, but just like, ooh, older, wiser children, holy shit. Like, I remember all that being, like, super cool, but I don't really recall actively thinking about the far, far future. You know, like, when you're in high school and some people already know exactly what job they're gonna be working and, like, how many kids they're gonna be having and then their names and where they wanna live and who they're gonna marry and, you know, have their entire fucking life planned out. Meanwhile, I was like, uh, pfft, I don't know, I don't care, I just wanna watch my anime. Two types of people. Like, for me, I'm just like, yeah, I wanna get married at some point. Kids would be, I guess, cool or something. I, I wanna pass down my fucking weep knowledge to the new generation <laughs> but beyond that uh, i don't know i don't know the details so yeah we'll we'll see where we'll end up and then you enter college and you don't really have to worry much about the future then either or at least like you're very much distracted from thinking about that because like oh well i'm in college i'm just gonna have to do my best in order to earn my degree just you know focus on gotta get that degree at the time, I did have like this preconceived idea of like, oh yeah, this company seems kind of cool to be working at. Oh, they do cool stuff. Uh, maybe I want to work there. And I held on to that idea for a fair amount of time, thinking like, oh, when I graduate, I'm just gonna apply for a job at that company because they they do cool shit. But then, in the last year of college, I was kind of like exposed to new types of people, I guess, or just uh, just very open-minded individuals like way different sorts of people than I would normally ever interact with on a daily basis. So to give some context for the last semester of my university education I had to do a graduation slash thesis slash internship type deal where you 
basically had to work at a company and basically do a thesis there while at the company. For those who've been on my channel for a while, you probably will know that I have done like an internship in the past before and I had really, really bad <laughs> experiences with that, so I wasn't too, too looking forward to uh, this one either. But surprisingly, the people at that company, like, it was a very, very small company, like, only consisting of two people, and they'd only started, like, two years ago, so they were kind of like a startup and whatever, but the people who ran the place, like, they were so ambitious and so passionate about the things that they were doing and extremely, like, entrepreneurship-focused and everything. So when I mentioned to them, like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, I do YouTube on the side, like, next to college and whatever, it's fun, I, I really enjoy doing that, and they were like, oh, wow, really? Oh, that's so cool, you should totally do something with that in the future. Like, they were just like, yeah, go, girl, just, just do it. Like, you're young, give it a bash. And it wasn't even just them, because I remember, like, even after, like, graduation, or, like, during the graduating event and whatever, I sat with some of the teachers and everything, and... They had also, like, recently discovered my YouTube stuff and they were, like, also really, really excited about it and found it, like, super cool. Like, oh yeah, you should totally try and do something with that. Like, it's it's super admirable that you have a following like that and people who love and watch your stuff and that sort of stuff. Yeah, we'd love to have you, like, as a future guest speaker sometime, like, at the, uh, at the uni. And I was like, oh yeah, oh, that will be, yeah, that's, that's cool, that's cool. But yeah, it just felt so unreal to like for the very first time suddenly get this recognition for things that I personally really enjoyed doing and like how that even that could possibly be like an avenue because in my mind I just closed that off like no that's just that's hobby shit like that will never lead to anything. It was just so surreal getting that recognition and support and everything cuz yeah to me it just has never seemed like an option really because in my normal life I've never really gotten any sort of like support or recognition for the things that I do so yeah it was super exciting to hear all of that but yeah uh, that did basically throw my idea of like oh I'm gonna fucking like work at this company well that went out the window and I was like you know what yeah uh, now it's 2022 and it's been two years since then and yeah, I've just basically just been focusing on YouTube. Like first year I really really enjoyed, but like during my second year, so like 2021 to till now, I kind of noticed that things weren't really turning out the way that I would have liked them to. Again, for more context, I've spoken about this in my YouTube history thingy that I posted like uh, two months ago or something, like the really the really long one. Because in my mind, I was like, oh, well, if I just start doing this full time, then my channel will be more active and therefore the algorithm will most likely pick my videos back up again and yada yada. And therefore I'll get more traction and I get another boost and subscriber and views and blah. And I, I make money and I can make a living off of this. But unfortunately, that just didn't happen. And that's kind of like where the anxiety started to set in. Because I'm like... I'm 25, I want to move out, I really want to start living my own life, I want to be independent in a way that makes me happy, I want to earn a living doing what makes me happy, but then life is just like, uh, yeah, no, sorry, um, best I can do is pay you in peanuts and give you a shitty housing market, how about that? So then, all these, like, what ifs start popping up in my head like what do i do if such and such will not work out what will i do if this ends up happening uh can i make sure that i have at least x and y so that i can prevent this and that from happening and all of those like just hypothetical questions stewing in my brain and you know what the funny thing is like it's not even fucking useful I just want to have a good time right now, do things right now that will benefit me later, because the future isn't happening right now, so why should I allow myself to be consumed by all of these thoughts that basically just make me feel like ass? It just drains so much energy, like energy that you could be using to do things that actively make you happy right now. And even if you are worried about the future, like, the best thing you can do is just try and sow seeds right now for later. The future does not exist. All that really exists are just a series of presents, really. And you 
That's where you are right now. You're not in the past, you're not in the future, you're right here and now in the present. And that's the only thing you can affect. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, you can't control what's gonna happen tomorrow. The best thing you can do is just do things now that will most likely benefit you in the future. And that's all you can really do. Because there is no such thing as certainty in life. Like, the only thing that is certain in life is just that life is really fucking uncertain and unpredictable as fuck. So, essentially, all of this worrying bullshit, it's not really gonna result in anything. Except that you possibly could be setting yourself up for failure because of all these, like, imagined dangers. And because, like, you don't see them as imagined, they're, like, real dangers to you you actively might be overlooking opportunities because you're just so scared. To you, it's real, but in reality, it's all just in your skull. It's emotions. So, in my opinion, like, the best thing you can do is just try and live life to the fullest, make every day a day you can enjoy, and no, like, don't live life today as if it could be your very last day here on Earth. Like, no, don't hold yourself, like, emotionally at gunpoint like that. That's no way to live. Sure, it may be difficult to really enjoy the present if there are factors that you feel are just not ideal. Some things you probably wish were different, but they just simply aren't. Like, from a personal perspective, I'm just like, yeah, it would be nice if I could have a place to call my own. It would be nice to have, like, an active support network. It would be amazing if I didn't have to adhere to arbitrary rules. Uh, it would be nice if I could be respected. And it would be f fantastic if I could, you know, like, have some success in any of the things that I really care about. All of that would be very amazing. And it would most definitely be a tremendous beneficial factor for my mental health, uh, but sadly that's just currently not how things are. So I just gotta work with what I have, make the best of things, and then we'll see where we end up. And yeah, like, I know all this is like way easier said than done. I'm personally still very much struggling to adhere to this mindset, because like I mentioned, like, it's been playing a very active role in the past couple months for me, which I hate, because I just want to be able to enjoy the right now and the right here. My brains just be screeching like, you're 25, you gotta get your own life right now, you gotta buy a logical clock and you gotta do what you wanna do because you're gonna be too old in the next amount of time and blah. You know, all the, the fucking nonsense screeching. But most important thing is that I'm trying, I'm trying to focus on what is really important here and that is my own happiness. And as long as I try my best doing that, I think, I think that's just the best I can do for right now. And yeah, uh, I think that about concludes my ramble. Uh, I don't know, I just really felt like talking about this. Uh, sorry for a lot of the more like personal topics this past half year when it comes to video topics, because I know people watching my videos are probably more here for like the, oh, funny Yunari geeking out over very in obscure media interests or something, but I don't know, my brain really just needs a way to share this info. Uh, simply because I've just learned so much about myself and my brain and what I want out of life and all that sort of stuff I've been reflecting on that for the past couple months and I just really want somebody, uh, some people to hear me out and hear my thoughts about that and I don't know, I guess also just get a different perspective, see what others think, see if it resonates with people because hey, would be nice if this video resonates with some. I'd like to think that this existential dread sort of deal uh, is fairly common in young adults. Or basically anybody that is at the start of their quote-unquote independency. Which, again, like, for some that may be as early as 18, and for others like me, like, I'm at age 25. Uh, and I, I'm still technically not independent yet, but I also experience these sorts of feelings. Uh, so yeah, I hope you all still somewhat enjoyed the video regardless, and uh, I'll see you again whenever. So yeah, bye! Hey, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, apologize for my outro voice being kind of ass. Um, uh, Alan, my boyfriend, infected me with uh, a flu or some sort, I, th I think, so... You're welcome. Apologies for the lack of drawings in this video, but I just really couldn't get myself to like make a bunch of like tiny little drawings for the video that would only be on screen for 
like a millisecond or whatever. So yeah, I hope you all just still enjoy like just the the general bunny footage with the cutesy stuff and whatever. Anyway, I want to give a special shout out to Matt, Mathicha, and Romanov for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all very much. Mm -hmm.